Hi, Steve King here. This tutorial is going to show how using PIX Insight, one can remove magenta from only the stars in the image and not from any of the nebulosity anywhere else in the image. If you want to remove all the magenta from an image, then you just simply go to script utilities, correct magenta stars, and that will remove all of the magenta. But if you want to retain magenta in some other areas for whatever reason, aesthetic or whatever, then you can do it the following way. Make two copies of this original image. First one we'll call ORIG or same as the original image. And the second one we'll call all caps CMS for correct magenta stars. Okay. Now we will go to script utilities, correct magenta stars. Here it is. We see it's aimed at CME CMS, which is what we want. And you just simply click execute. And bingo. You can see all the magenta has been removed from this image. You can see there's magenta here in the original and here it's all gone as well as from the stars. So it does a very nice job. So that's the CMS part. But we want to retain nebulosity for this example in the rest of the image. Next, we're going to open a star mask. Let me zoom in. I'm going to set the threshold not too high. Point two, we want to try and capture the stars inside the nebula. The rest of the settings <coughs> are a good starting point. You can try those. And we can just drop this onto the or ridge, since the ridge is the same as the uh, starting image, heart SHO. Okay, here's the star mask. Now, the next thing we're going to do is binarize it, open the binarize process. I run it at, let me zoom in here. I run it at an RGB slash K setting of 0.1. I click the joint channels there. Okay. And then we just drag this and drop it onto the star mask and bingo. Everything that's 0.1 or greater is changed to one. Everything less than 0.1 is set to zero. It gives us a binary image. With that done, then you open up Pix Insight. Let me zoom in on that. We put in the follow expression, dollar $t times CMS plus then the parentheses, inside parentheses, one minus dollar $t times or ridge, the original. Dollar $t is the image that when I drag this new instant icon onto an image, that image then becomes dollar $t. So it's going to be the star mask. So we just drag this onto the star mask. Oh, before I go, when we're done, it's going to create a new image called repaired. Make sure you set your color space to RGB color. Okay, then we just drag this on to the star mask. And there's our image. Okay, let me close this. Let me reduce this, get it out of the way. And what I want to show, I want to compare the 
the repaired image with CMS. So here's the the image as it would appear if you use the correct Magenta Stars script without any protection. It does a very nice job on removing the magenta from the stars, but it removes all the remit all the magenta that's in the rest of the image. If we take a look at the repaired, we will notice, especially here, you can see that the magenta has been protected. So CMS, magenta's all gone, repaired, the magenta has been preserved, and yet still the stars have the magenta nicely removed. Okay, so just another tool in case you need it. Hope you find it helpful. Thanks for watching.